Hey everyone, this is sort of going to be a review of something random, not as much of a robot, but it applies, it is used with these two robots, V2 and RS Media. So, um, today I got this message. Wait, the RoboSapien V2 also needs AAs? At first I, th I was confused by that, but then I n knew what they meant because... As I've said before, I use double A's on my robots that take D batteries. P you might be thinking, "What? Well, that's impossible. There's no way to do that. There is. And I can see why that is confusing as well. I replied to that person, but I'm making a video now. Sorry if you think this is offensive for me pointing this out, but I was just trying to make a review for this to be helpful if you see this video. Um, but this is for everyone to see. I use these. Look at. Do you think I'm actually holding a D battery? No. No. You put in a double A. It turns it into a D battery. Look. I I only use rechargeables though. Not even alkaline double A's for this because they're not powerful enough. Only chargeables give enough power. See? It's in there. Take the RS Media. There we go. We need to put this upright. I need to buy a new camera. And there we go. That's what you do for all six. Same with the V2. It's easy. But um, they only they don't only make this kind. There's a couple other other kinds. This one's only capable of holding one double A. So that means six double A's. That is very light. Um, if that was of RSV2 using those batteries, you know from there since how light this is. Compare a AA to a D battery. A D battery is heavier. What does this mean, you're asking? Well, since a AA is so light and it's going in the feet, this has to be weight to hold it from falling over. It do RS Media doesn't fall over too much, but yet he still does. But, um... Well, they don't fall over on mine very much, especially my first one. His motors are almost all dead. But anyways, that's mine. I'm. This is supposed to be applying to yours. Um, they need weight. So, um, that means if I just put one double A in these, it's sort of light. When it's roaming or something, it's going to fall over. And... It's going to keep doing that. Even when you push the button to make it get back up, it's not going to be heavy enough to hold the b bring the body up. Because the body will be heavier than the legs. Well, this is what you need to do. There's other versions of these battery adapter cases. They're called battery adapters. I call them cases, but uh, they're actually called battery adapters. AAD battery adapter converters or something. You'll find some on eBay. You can get like 10 of them for not very much money at all. So they're actually very cheap. But now I need to talk about the different versions. There's some of these that can hold two AA's. Or there's even some that can hold three. That means if you get one of these adapters and it needs three AA's to, to make one D battery. Well, that is a lot of batteries. So I don't know if there would be a problem with that. I don't know if it would run dead or if it would be too powerful or what. But it would be heavy enough just like the regular D battery. So then your robot wouldn't fall over. You know, and then it would be working. But then again, I don't know the side effects for putting in three AA's because that's three... 3 times 6, that's 18 batteries per robot. Each of these robots takes 6 batteries. I mean, look at this. 18 batteries for a robot. That's a lot. Plus then these batteries. That'd be 22 AA's for just one robot. You would have to have a lot of batteries. So, that would be your decision. If you want to get this one... Which would be really light. Or you could get the one that holds two batteries. Or the one that holds three batteries. Um, the one that holds two or three batteries. It opens up. It, it can actually. It snaps closed. Where this one you just insert the battery. But on the other ones you open it up. And put the battery inside. 
So yeah, there's quite a difference. Um, I don't. Ha I only have the one that holds one battery, and I have a couple. I've have enough of them for like three robots. So yeah, or I'm supposed to have enough because I believe I have. I had past 20 of those, so I should have enough for three robots. It's better than buying D batteries; they're expensive. It's way better buying double A's and using these. This is why you're wondering how does how much batteries does he have to buy every time he uses his robots? I don't buy any batteries; I buy rechargeables and these. They don't just make these for D's either. They make them for C batteries as well, which I don't have, but it would help on the Robo Quad and Robo Me and stuff. Save on money. It actually works better on Robo Quad because the lighter the batteries are, the better Robo Quad can walk. That's what I think. I don't know, but these are helpful. If you don't want to use regular batteries and regular batteries. D batteries in general, because that's just going to waste your money. Every 10 minutes it runs dead, especially on the RS Media. I'm applying to the RS Media. Every 5 or 10 minutes, you'll hear him say his batteries need changing or he'll motor, his motors will p be pathetically slow. So you're going to want those. That's why I got the one piece AA adapter. Because it's light enough and it can lift its feet off the ground. It can actually walk. But yes, it does fall over at times. Like when it picks up stuff, it might fall over. Or if it's trying to turn around, sometimes it might possibly fall over. Depending on how powerful the motors on yours actually are. So I thought this review was helpful. I thought it would be worth mentioning because people need to know. Stop buying alkaline, get rechargeables, and get those cases. Because once you get those, you won't have problems anymore about running out of batteries. Make sure you get a lot of chargers too. What kind of battery chargers do I recommend? These. Um, I don't know if you've seen them before or not. This one is called the Renewit battery charger. R E N U. Renewit Pro. This is the big one. They make mini ones, but the mini ones suck. As you can see here, it's supposed to charge alkaline batteries. It doesn't really work, but it does a great job at recharging nickel metal hydrate batteries, which is. I've never had an iCAD battery in my life, so I, all I can tell you is nickel metal hydrate batteries are good. And these work good. I, I recommend you buy a couple. Yes, they can be expensive. They're like 40 bucks per charger. But look, it charges every single size of battery. One 9 volt it can charge. If you're lucky, that usually never works. But nobody uses 9 volts these days anyways. It can charge double A's, triple A's, C's, and D's. All of them. You don't have to put them all in at once. You can put in... A double A here, you can put a C battery there, a D battery there, a triple A, or all four double A's. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I even recharged the alkaline on the nickel metal hydrate setting. And, yeah, it actually sometimes works better. It's, when you put regularly, it was supposed to take five or six hours to charge a stupid double A. That's pathetic, but, no. When it's on the nickel metal hydrate setting, it's only going to take like an hour to charge a double A. It's very fast. Sometimes, if your battery isn't even low, it'll only take 15 minutes. I used to have 15 minutes, 15 minute rechargers when I was a kid. And I loved them because I used to play with all those Halloween stuff. And they ate batteries like crazy. So I stopped buying alkalines. Yes, I have alkaline right there, but whatever. <laughs> My dad got me those for Christmas. So I could use RoboMe or something. But anyways. Um, they ran dead all the time. And then I got rechargeables. And I got like four of those 15 minute chargers at one time. And trust me it helped a lot. So you can either get these. And charge every size of the battery. Or you can get the 15 minute charger off eBay. And it can only charge triple A's and double A's. It's your choice. But these are great. These the screen shows you how much it's in progress. The lights, if the battery's charging, they'll be red. If it's charged, the light will be green. Except for that light. 
that light is for the 9 volt battery. It doesn't really ever work. It turns gr off when it's done charging. That's just the power light. It tells you it's on. And this is the charge. It's exactly the same thing. Just doesn't have that switch. It stays on. This one shuts off by itself in 24 hours. That means it doesn't take 24 hours to charge a battery. But these are outdated. These are from 2009. I'm, they might be slightly updated since now. Maybe they take even shorter to charge a battery. I don't know. Like an alkaline battery. They're supposed to be getting better, but I haven't seen a difference yet. But they make a couple colors. Uh, on these, they make um, a black. Not this black. It's not a shiny black. This one's a really shiny black. It's actually the same kind of black as V2. <laughs> but these they make a red one, a silver one, a white one, and this one, and the black one. Not that kind of a black, it's a different black. It's not as cool as that one, though. And those are all the renewal ones. I recommend getting one of each color so that you have enough chargers to charge all your batteries in. Um, and charge it. There's also... There's also one called Maximal Power. It's the same as this one. It's black. It's identical. Just a different name. Maximal Power. I got these all off Amazon. Um, uh, why do I have so many of these black ones? Just think, I would have only had two. Or actually three. But that piece I accidentally broke. And then it quit charging all of a sudden. But it was just a loose wire. I had to solder the wire on. And it works. I wish I wouldn't have. Yes, that's another thing. You can't just shove a battery in there like that. Of course that's going to break the springs. you got to gently pull it back with your finger and then use your other, your other hand to insert the battery like this. If you're shoving it like people on the reviews on HSN, which is where they were originally sold, said, oh, the pieces were broken. That's because they're putting them in like this. Well, of course that's going to break it. You have to use... Caution, you have to use gentle care. It'll never break if you use it with care like this. Yes, the wires may come off, but you it's easy. It might say, do not take apart. Call the factory. Don't do that. Just do it. I did it. Nothing happened. I soldered the wires. They worked like brand new again. Right now, this one currently has a wire off on one of these. I forgot which one it was. But I'm going to take it apart and fix it soon. See, I got my soldering iron right here. I could fix it right now if I wanted to. So they were great. That's I recommend them. If I didn't recommend them, I wouldn't make a video about it. Because these are awesome chargers for nickel metal hydrate. These ones and the 15 minute chargers are the best ones you can get. At this point. These last a long time. And as always, there will be times where there's always bad ones in the batch that don't work. So if you get a bad one, don't be upset. Just get your money back, exchange it. They'll send you another one, and that one should work. I mean, I've actually never had one that didn't work. All of these worked. All of them. They actually sent me two of them. We called the company after it quit working, and they sent me they sent me one, and then they sent me another, I guess, and Grandma gave me another, I guess. But I guess they sent two somehow. And then my dad ordered another. See? So I got four of the black ones. Charge it. All off Amazon. And to be and two for free, I think. Or one. I don't even know. That's what she said they sent two. But I don't think they would have mistaken that. But yes. Buy these off eBay. Get those. eBay, Amazon. I don't care. They'll help so much. Get rechargeable batteries. Get six or get a hundred dollar packs of double A rechargeable batteries on eBay for only eighty dollars, maybe even seventy dollars. There, there's like the three thousand um voltage batteries that are only like eighty dollars. They're cheap. Trust me, if you went to a store and bought um a hundred of those batteries, trust me, you'd be over four hundred bucks. But you can go on eBay and buy a oh, hundred double H batteries for only under eighty bucks. It's worth it. It saves money a lot. And I, I'm having a hard time choosing if I should buy more robots, cases, chargers, batteries, video recorders, or what. 
But if I want to continue using robots, I would have to buy more of these and batter chargeables and chargers because those are my only chargers. I will need a lot more because I plan on ordering 600 rechargeable nickel metal hydrate. That's a lot. But the cool thing is I'll never run out again because I can keep, I can let charge every battery and never have to take them out and use them in a different robot. I would have enough batteries for every one of these robots. And I can place them on a shelf and they'll always have batteries when I want to use them. They'll always be there and ready for me when I want to use them. It's a great thing. Just order them. It's awesome. I haven't ordered it yet, but they'll be, they'll be helpful. I mean, all these robots never having to go without batteries ever again. All of these robots having batteries in them whenever I need them would be awesome. Well, I don't know if you watched up to this long, but I say you probably don't want to watch much longer of this, so I guess I'll let you go. Hopefully you've learned something new or decided to try it, try it because you, sh you can rate this if you want. I rate those chargers at a scale of 8. Well, maybe 9. <laughs> I rate these as a 10 because they work. They, they don't fail on those robots at all. The rechargeable double A's, I just give them. It, that depends on how, how good they charge and how long they last, I guess. That depends on what brand. But I, I give them all a high number. They're no lower than 8, all of these. They're, they're great products. I like them. Even if they can't charge alkaline batteries, it's still does a great job recharging rechargeable batteries at least so check it out uh, later